This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Wichita Wind Surge. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Blondie Yellowhorse gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, in a day and age where runs are scored at an alarming rate, this guy's been pretty rock solid. Last three starts, ERA under 2.00. Not an easy thing to do, and you'll know if he's on early. If he's good and on point in the first inning, that usually means he's going to be rock solid throughout the rest of the game. Now in the box, DJ Burke, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Here's the first pitch to him. First to four here on this Monday night as the first pitch of the game is over for strike one. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Hey, come on, guys. Batting second. Into the box, Chase Bouchard. Chase Bouchard. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Left fielder coming on, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now at the plate, Rymel Tapia. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Rymel Tapia. Here comes the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 0-1. The wind-up and the 0-1. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next 0 2. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Another one sent foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just hung in there on that one. Yeah. 
And he just barely makes contact there as this is fouled at the plate and it remains nothing and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. That's a ball. Just a touch outside. One and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Settling in now, Nick Prado. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Nick Prado. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. And he fouls this one off. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Stepping up to the plate, Suli Matias. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. Matias. First delivery to him on the way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. Ball two. 2-0 two now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Pitch on the way. A one, shot one, one. down the first baseline. Oh, but this will get foul. Two and one. Now the pitch. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. A full Thank count. You. Three balls and two strikes. Taylor Heineman waits on deck. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ready now, Taylor Heineman. He'll work on that keeping this top of the second the alive. Tyler Heineman. First pitch of the at bat. Hey! Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Ball. Misses, ball two. Ball. 
lifted in the air out to right. I got it, I got it. McKenna is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. Wichita's out in front, one to nothing. Next will be the designated hitter, Tommy Stemley. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Hey, no outs here. Stemmel. First pitch of the at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Here you go, guys. Let's go. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So digging in now, Gabriel Cancel. He's ready for his first at bat of this Gabriel early season contest. Cancel. Now here's the pitch. Ah. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. you got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve 1-2. and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches. But when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Two down, two Batting down. Nine, the left fielder. So Jonathan. now to the plate, Jonathan Shatner. Shatner. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him, and this ball game is tied at one. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake, and you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. The third baseman, number Stepping one. in now, DJ Bird. Bird. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. The wind up and the 0 1. Down 0 2. Maybe no simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, all tied at one and one. Digging in for his second at-bat, Chase Bouchard comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Here we go.
Nope. And he ball. won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Bouchard, a California-born ball player, is a middle infielder by trade, of course, usually a shortstop, but they've got him at second base in this one. Yeah, Matty, this guy's got some of the best hands in the game. It doesn't matter. Shortstop, second base, you could pretty much put him wherever you want in the infield. Premium defender, up the middle defender, looks to help out the pitching staff any way he can. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. I got it. Scott is there, and he has it for the first out. So coming to the plate, hey, Rymel Tapia. Now, 0 for 1 for the him here in this field. one. Rymel Tapia. First delivery to him on the way. Aye. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Aye. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. Ready with the Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. And no one will get this one. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here comes another 0-2. And a check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Popped him up. Ball, ball, ball. And this is taken in for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, hey, Nick right Prado. Now He's 0 for 1 no, after grounding two. out in his only yeah. trip to the plate so far. And hey, now we've got two. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this ball, is taken guy. outside for ball one. Ball, that's ball two high. now. Two and one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Lifted the other way to left center. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The wind surge lead it three to one. New inning set to get underway. Man standing in the outfielder, Sully Matias. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Scott will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Now at the play, Taylor Heineman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Tyler Heineman. First delivery to him on the way. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Right side hit hard, reined in. And that's the second out. Striding in once again, Tommy Stemley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Designated hitter. Tommy Stemmel. Two down, two down. Here comes the first pitch. So far this year against Southpaws, Stemley averages a hit once every four at bats go, and go. average at exactly 250. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Ball, that's out. For the current campaign, Stemley is carrying a slugging percentage under 350. Needless to say, he's not a big extra base hitter home run guy right here. Popped him up. Terang waits on it. I got it. I got it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Home half of the fifth coming up. Wichita's out in front, three to one. Play ball. Out. He's out. Out. Stepping into the box, Gabriel Cancel. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball match outside. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. High in the air out to center field. Scott is Mine. camped under this Mine. one, and he's got it for the first out. Standing in, Jonathan Shatner. Now he back. went deep in his Let's first at bat. We'll see Jonathan. what he's got in store for us here. Shatner. Now here's the pitch. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Shatner is a guy some would regard as a defense first type of player. He excels in the field and really makes an impact on games with his glove at the plate. However, not quite as much of a threat. Yeah, but a guy with a defensive minded skill set like this can play in the big leagues a long time. Hey, you can right, find ways to score runs, find ways to put the bat on the ball. You can't find guys that play defense the way he does. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Ball to two high. balls and two strikes now. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Now batting. Third base. In now, DJ Bird. Bird. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. It, and it. he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The wind surge lead it three to one.
All set for the start of the inning, and Here set to go is the second baseman, Chase Bouchard. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Grounder down the line at third. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And that'll split the gap as it should go. be extra relay, bases. Relay. Cut it, cut it. Hold on to it, hold on to it. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Now, time called here as the manager pops out of the first base dugout. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left to board, but he cannot lose this one. Tyler Kolick comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Number 54, Tyler. Play ball. Ow. He's out. Ow. 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 Three. He's out. Ball four. Take the base. Three. Three. Can't hit him. He's got three. 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 It's always nice to take the opener of a four-game set when you're at home. That sets the stage for the rest of the series, and it gives you a good springboard the rest of the way. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4, the final tally. Wichita led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Blondie Yellowhorse earns win number four on the season, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Jorge Lopez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score. First, for the victorious Windsors. Five runs, six hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Storm Chasers, four runs, seven hits, one error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes.